Hi everyone and uh, welcome to the Adobe Live show. This is the third day of our uh, live event about UX design and uh, we just uh, start the day. We'll be live for eight hours and the first show is with Jessica and Claude. Hey. Hi guys. Hi guys. Day three. Doing? Yeah, <laughs> day three. Last day. So. <laughs> so yeah, we see some people in the chat. We see Matthias, uh, uh, Evil Series, thanks for joining. Um, yeah, let us know where you're from in the chat. Let us know what you're doing. Uh, always good to keep it interactive and don't hesitate to ask questions. Mm -hmm. uh, we see your gym also. Thanks for joining. Um, maybe we can, uh, because this is the day three, maybe mm -hmm. we can explain what happened on day one and day two and invite our viewers to watch the replays because all the replays are already available on the Creative Cloud YouTube channel. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, Michael from San Diego. Michael Fernandez. Oh, oh hello. Yeah. yeah. They are also from San Diego. Yeah, yeah. the hat yeah. is back. Someone said the hat is yeah, back. The yeah, hat. it's back today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, on on day one, we decided to do three different experiences for the three yeah, different days, one per day. just to show mm -hmm. how fast and and quick you can come up with ideas and bring them to life using Adobe XD. So on day one, we uh, Jessica and I did a big challenge. We mm -hmm. challenged uh, each other on the on a on a, on a concept. Yep. A for smart an iOS. home uh, nightlight for yeah. iOS and a uh, skill test we use at Telepathy. Um, and so we sketched out a flow together mm -hmm. and then basically went our separate ways and then had everybody here vote on the best one. Um, I think the consensus was that. It was a tie. 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 It was tie. a tie. Everyone's yeah. friends still. Everyone yeah. wins. Yeah. Do you want to show the prototype? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. On our screens, both of them. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. There's so clouds. this was yeah. one execution. Ah, yeah. um, we have to mention that the logo has been created by someone. Elliot. Elliot. Yep. Elliot. He was watching yes. the show yeah. and he shared the logo on Twitter. Yep. And, and he, he won the Creative Cut subscription. Mm -hmm. Just Cut subscription, by making a nice just logo. Just making a nice logo. So if you, we ask you today to participate, you can win some pretty good prizes. Uh, so yeah, yeah, this concept. This is Jessica's oh, one. Jessica, mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. Just uh, clicking through the online prototype. Yep. Cool. And this, is and this nice. one was. Again, another execution. We thought it was a good idea to mm -hmm. provide just different visual exploration for this uh, concept of light night. Yep. Um, cool. And then the and second day, uh, right, we did, uh, back on my screen real quick, a custom e-commerce site. So we have a competition going on right now, right, Michael? Mm -hmm. So for a uh, shopping-related uh, prototype. So we actually also did a shopping-related one where you can make gift wrapping paper with custom art. Um, these are watercolors by one of our designers, Anna Medina. And uh, you can see this clickable prototype here. There's some crazy repeat grid action yeah, going yeah. on. <laughs> yeah, so that's what we worked on yesterday, a website. Yeah, and, that was, and I think it's a great segue to what we're going to build today. Mm -hmm. um, so today, uh, Anna Medina, she worked on those watercolor as a, it's called a betterment. So mm -hmm. this is something we do at Telepathy which uh, is the betterment is to choose something you want to be better at mm -hmm. and do it for a hundred days straight. Mm -hmm. oh. So yeah, it's th th there are a lot of challenges in the community now, like 30 days of drawing, 30 mm -hmm. days of, yep. uh, you know, one letter per day also. Yeah, 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 yeah. With typography. So, mm -hmm. and today we're going to build an app that allows users to keep on track with those, th the betterment idea. Mm -hmm. Hey, sorry. So That's it's, um, it's going to be, an app that you select something you want to be better at, and you just want you you uh, once once you select it, then you commit to it, mm -hmm. and you go all the way through those hundred days of pure commitment. You want to show uh, your sketches? Let's show the sketches. Okay. This we came prepared today. Pro time. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So on the first screen, uh, it would be some sort of like typical op open home screen where uh, I see the logo being like a big, nice, bad, bold okay. B. They, they, bad, bold they will create yeah. the logo. <laughs> huh? They will create the logo, oh, really? so get inspired. I have one, I have one have already, already, but we can also they accept can some logo. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll see. see. Yeah. We'll see. Make, it, make it better than me. Yeah, if you want to create a logo inspired by this sketch, yeah. the betterment with a big B, uh, share it on Twitter, adding the hashtag Adobe Live, okay? Cool. And then uh, someone would, would, could pick a betterment from there, and maybe someone like Betterment is not a really common use yeah, yeah, name. Yeah, I, I've never heard that. So word, if so. you tap on the what's a Betterment, maybe we'll quick uh, okay. we'll give a description of what it is. Mm -hmm. And then once they're in like the picking a Betterment experience, 
uh, they'll they'll have like preset experiences that people m- might did in the past mm-hmm. so we'll have like some filter bars here going on so all the betterments and maybe categories like sports art etc mm-hmm. and then in in there you'll see the different listing of the, the different thing that they can be better at so for example surfing singing cooking painting and then the little number that you see right there would be the actual number of people that are also doing this same activity so oh, people nice. can push each other it's, we're gonna talk about uh, a little bit more about the social aspect of mm-hmm. it and like just uh how do you call it? like not the the pressure of people like no, it's uh, just the support right like yeah uh, support yeah one of the things that uh when Anna did this for her betterment she did it on instagram mm-hmm. and she was telling me how one of the things that really like made it such a difference and kind of motivated her was all the feedback that the mm. community gave her and so it didn't feel like you know you're going alone on this and it was really motivational yeah you know? yeah, yeah so that kind of support's really critical for keeping people on track otherwise yeah. it's so easy to just drop that habit right and even yeah. at at dt like just people are pushing like everyone knows what are they doing for their mm-hmm. betterment and then they're asking questions and like look uh, how are you doing with this so yeah. it's like that overall like big uh, yep. i don't know the culture of making stuff better and then you would get like a description screen here of like what it is mm-hmm. and maybe there's like some sort of like level so surfing yeah. for example for like the average human is something hard to pick up and be really good at right. um so you'll have a, a small description here and maybe some some sort of like expected results after a hundred days okay. so like so like you might be a decent surfer or maybe you'll struggle again i don't know <laughs> and then uh the last part is to y- from there you would start the betterment and you're locked in in one thing mm-hmm. like you can't do multiple betterments it's crazy yeah and then one of, i think of one of the best feature of the app we're, we're thinking about today is to pick a mentor that will follow you through this long journey mm-hmm. so in that case uh we'll pick a mentor that will just assure that you're on track with your stuff mm-hmm. and uh really, really pu- pushes you mm-hmm. so in that case i know a pretty good surfer that works for adobe called Damien. So Damien <laughs> is going to be my mentor for this. Um, Damien works on the Adobe team as well. And he'll be up next after Yes, us. Yep. yes, yes. Mm-hmm. So you put Damien's name and his phone number. It will remain fictive for now because... That's his real number. Yeah, <laughs> five, five, five. <laughs> and then you would send them an invite and, yeah. on, and then they can choose or accept if they want to be your mentor or not because the mentor has a lot of responsibility to make sure that you're keeping your stuff on track Mm -hmm. and finally we we think about like a last screen where it's like some sort of dashboard whenever you come back yeah yeah. Mm -hmm. when you come back in your app you see Mm -hmm. like i'm at day 36 out of 100 maybe there's a little message feature there that like hey you're like your mentor took the time in the morning to just like hey man you're almost there Mm -hmm. You're, you're you're ready for it um and then we're this screen will actually have a little bit more of improvement uh, Jess will take a stab at it, yeah. but it's basically the overall goal of that screen. Just kind of is showing to like that you historically are going through exactly the every day, a hundred days. So cool. and, you, and you, you made it real, you see? Yeah. What? Is, <laughs> what what yeah. is that? Oh yeah, yeah. Coffee. <laughs> uh, Coffee. So real. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good job. Cool. So that's what we're gonna work on, right. and um, yeah. yeah, looks great. Right. Thanks. And also, if you want to uh, also design and prototype, we have a contest going on. Uh, so let me explain what this is. We invite you to download uh, and use Adobe XD. And with the design view, we want you to design at least a three screen experience. So you will see it's super easy, super fast. Uh, and the theme is shopping. So anything that deals with uh, shopping, just create a three screen experience. Then with the prototype view, you can connect your screens. And finally, share. So you click on share, it will create a link, okay? Upload all the assets in the cloud and generate uh, a unique URL. And you just have to copy and paste this URL on Twitter to tweet the URL, adding the hashtag Adobe Live, okay? It's very important. Remember to add Adobe Live as a hashtag. It's the only way for me to to catch it and we will feature it on the screen and our favorite prototype during this show. So during these two hours, we'll win a one year Creative Cloud subscription. Okay, so good luck. And uh, if you want to share, by the way, any uh, prototype you have been working on yeah. with XD or just uh, your first, uh, you know, the first prototype that you have ever created with XD, I mean, it's, it's also an opportunity. Just share it on Twitter, okay? Using Adobe Live as a hashtag. And we'll do a live critique. And yeah, we'll talk about critique. your uh, 
your different prototypes. And some mm -hmm. people join. Hi, Ryan. Hi, I see John from uh, the Netherlands. Uh, Steve Mitchell hi, in the Rob Generate. Good to see you. And we have also Marco. Okay, thanks for joining. Um, cool. Also, maybe a quick question for uh, people watching. Uh, let, let us know who watched the uh, first episode, like uh, two days ago, and also uh, who watched the episode from yesterday, or, yeah. you, or if this is the first time you, you, you are yeah. watching the show with mm -hmm. uh, Jessica and Claude, okay? If you have any Hi, questions Sam. about like the, um, just um, UX design in general, if you're yeah. a starter, agency if you life, already work yeah. agency mm -hmm. life, we're yeah. yeah. open to answer any questions. Anything there. There. Don't yeah. hesitate, mm -hmm. okay, because, yeah. Okay, so Claude. Let's start. Let's, Let's start it. with the welcome screen, Adobe XD. Cool. All right, so um, opening Ab Adobe XD is really like provides you that nice welcome experience where you can choose what type of experience that you'll do. Because uh, we all know we live in a world of a lot of screens. Mm -hmm. And uh, so from iPhone, iPad, web app, custom size, maybe you want to make a, a watch app or anything. Uh, but Adobe XD provides you a nice view that you can just select what you what, what you want from mm -hmm, there. Mm -hmm. um, and also it provides you some really cool uh, UI kits that yep. you can go download so you can start from from a certain shell or like a, a certain... Yeah, I mean like if you click on any of those UI kits and you just want to get the Chrome on the top that has the bar, you want to get, um, you know, a, a keyboard that's native yeah. to iOS or Android or, you know, even Windows, um, you can just get that easily. It's all customizable, editable, um, symbol-oriented, everything, so it's yeah. really great. Yeah, designed to make your, your life easier as mm -hmm. a designer. So today we're going to actually uh, choose the iPhone 6 and 7. Mm -hmm. By clicking on it, I see that my artboard already have, it's already set up and ready to rock and roll. Um, so you can see the nice and clean interface interface of Adobe XD, uh, built for speed and built for performance. Uh, we live in a fast world and we need, we oh need boy, to- Oh boy, here it comes. To, Are you what? gonna say it? <laughs> <laughs> Adobe XD has been designed. To design. No, to you can design at the speed of thought. Yeah, that's that's it. That's it. Yeah. All right. So when <laughs> when I open my first screen, um, I usually want to set up and put a bit of structure in in my um, in my experience here by setting up my different artboards. Okay. So I'm actually gonna just name them too. So this would be my own screen. <laughs> and then Andres is like, oh man, he said it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and then day. it oh, makes yeah. it super easy if you just copy, if you just click on a hardboard, you copy paste, it just place it magically, perfectly aligned, super structured. Mm -hmm. um, and then I would do this one would be the betterment selector. Mm -hmm. So Chris, for interactions, you will see that we will switch to the prototype uh, workspace. Oh yeah, later. Oh, yeah. And then we we'll yep. add uh, interactions later directly in the tool in XD. Betterment detail. XD is not. It's not just for uh, designing uh, the screens. You can also add interactions. Dashboard. Uh, uh, this one would be the mentor selector. Empty. This one would be mentor. Yeah. Maybe we do like a filled state. Like sure. Yeah. And then this would be the dashboard. Um. So Matt, if you want to prototype a web app uh, so, yeah. that is responsive, so I guess we're using uh, several breakpoints, actually mm -hmm. you can already do it in XD because uh, maybe you can quickly show it, but if you zoom out, you can create uh, a new artboard with a different uh, oh, yeah. screen dimension. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And you still see the, pre the, yeah. like the, presets, the presets if you want to make a watch. So mm -hmm. you can have your mobile view, your tablet view, your desktop view with several breakpoints and then showcase how the design will react uh, mm -hmm. depending on the screen resolution. Mm -hmm. So again, uh, earlier today we said that maybe we need a logo. I have one already. It's pretty simple. But I invite you to make it better if you if you want to. Um, but I like big, bold, betterment. Yeah. yeah that's, that's the brief today. <laughs> big and bold. <laughs> big and bold. So I'm going to open Illustrator and import my logo for now. Mm -hmm. And on the side, I'm going to just actually start working in Photoshop. On some images. Yeah, so uh, he, Claude actually went into Adobe Stock, picked up a couple photos, and so I'm going to 
they all have a little bit different um, stylistic sort of treatment. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and just do a little bit of touch up on my side to, to kind of make them look similar. So that way we can pop them into the to the app. Okay, cool. Nice B. Big B. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little big right now. But yeah, and I think my idea here with this logo, right now it looks just like big and black. But actually I'm gonna show you once I get one of the image, mm -hmm. maybe the surfing one, um, how to like mask images inside in Adobe XD, oh, which yeah. is pretty cool. So yeah, we're gonna mask in that's a good an feature. image inside mm -hmm. the shape. And I think the idea there would be to have like multiple images, maybe a video like in the future to like just play in the B in the background mm -hmm. that inspires people to be better mm -hmm. stuff. So what's the vision for the aesthetics of this whole thing? It's gonna um, be, you, you know, you said it's bold, like, but you know, it's gonna be like colorful, images. kind of like hipster retro, like what? what hipster retro. Hipster retro. Would be good. Yeah. Filters, yeah. Like desaturated. Filters, desaturated. All right, yeah. got it. Cool. Or we can ask the art director, but we'll see. Yeah, we can ask <laughs> what he thinks. What style of image? Just trust me. Okay. Oh my like goodness. an artist. Oh, okay. We know that. We know that. <laughs> the 90s called, and they want their drop shadows back. Oh, drop shadows. Oh, drop shadows. Wow. Uh, yeah, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have a question from uh, Tarun. Oh, um, Zao is asking, is that experience design? Yeah, this is experience design. Mm -hmm. I do be XD, so XD stands for experience design. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is what Claude is using now. And uh, Tarun is asking, so XD is still in beta. Can I consider it as an industry standard tool for designing websites? Yeah. Uh, I mean, we've used it on clients. Yeah. So they use it yeah. in yeah. a telepathy agency already. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would say that just download and try the tool and see if it's, uh, you know, uh, answer all your needs. Uh, but to, yeah, design uh, especially websites uh, with uh, some interactions, yeah, you, sh you should get everything. Hi, Raphael. Yeah. I'm French. Claude is from uh, oh. Montreal. Montreal, yeah. Montreal, yeah. Not Brazil. We both speak French, <laughs> but we don't understand each other. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we don't use the same word. <laughs> All right. This, this would be. So you were saying that the betterment is like a practice that you have at the agency. You encourage mm -hmm. all the yeah. all the employees to mm -hmm. actually. Something. That's like one of the main reason wh when I like in the interview process at DT. That was one of the oh. big thing that I was like super impressed by. It just defines how the culture is great at DT, and, and just by doing something better for yourself, you'll make you'll make stuff better for your clients and yeah. your everyday life too. Um, so yeah. Yeah. So Paolo, thanks for joining. Uh, they are designing a Betterman app. So basically an app where you say, okay, I want to learn this and it will track your activity mm -hmm. during cool. 100 yeah. days and encourage you. Uh, there is a new feature if you're watching on Behance and if you have the YouTube player running, actually you can, uh, there is DVR, which means that you can jump back in time, watch the introduction and then oh. uh, go back to live. That's yeah. cool. It's a nice feature. Uh, someone was saying in all caps, answer my question. So yeah, so if we miss the question, just ask it, ask it again, okay? Because we are <laughs> monitoring the chat. Uh, it will no be pressure easier. here. Yeah, it will be easier. Uh, so we have a motion designer transitioning to the world for UI. Does anyone have solutions and tips or things to keep in mind while animating for UX and UI? It's a good uh, oh, so it's a motion future. designer for UX and UI. Okay. Um, Motion design for UX and UI, I guess it's a matter of what tools do you currently have in your toolbox because there is, you know, actually now is the perfect time to really get in, um, especially in interaction design, right? Like, if you yeah. look at any of the popular galleries, that animation, that sophistication, those micro interactions are things that are just becoming more and more a part of um, the experiences that people expect, right? That delightful sort of design. And um, I would, I guess a tip for me would just be like, take your current tool sets and then apply them to, you know, um, the first thing that comes to my mind actually is onboarding. I think of a lot of onboarding flows that really um, utilize great motion. Um, a lot of websites use great motion. And so there could be a pretty easy, seamless sort of way mm -hmm. for you to get into the world that way. Um, people are dying for people who are very, very good at motion mm. graphics, so. Uh, so Ramshan, he was asking, what is the website that you use for your icon and vector downloads? Yeah. Oh, so this one is called FederIcons.com. Uh, it's actually pretty good. It's a new finding too. Um, it's super simple. You get a bunch of icons there. You click on it and it pops in the SVG 
and you drag it inside in um, in in the Adobe XD and it works perfectly. It's pretty cool. Right. So now I think my home screen's pretty. What do you think about that? That stroke. Um, <laughs> and, and for big, the contest winner, don't hesitate. Like much. if you created so prototypes uh, even yeah. yesterday or two days ago and you want to submit your entry again, Better. you can tweet it again. Yeah. If yeah. you didn't win, of course. All right. So we have some like the way I like to work is to like try to set up some some styles that then I'll reuse uh, through the experience. So Adobe XD makes it pretty easy for me to just uh, add some character styles and mm. also symbols like something any I, any element that you want to repeat through your experience. Like you want to be able to create a symbol and really easily quick uh, quickly click and drag and bring it to different artboards. So I'll create a symbol right now. And by selecting my two elements and hitting Command K, it becomes a symbol. Um, so then you see it in your panel all the way to the left here. Um, and you can click and drag and you reuse that element elsewhere and type something else in it. So you can reuse the element without really recreating all the time. Plus, if you want to change the style inside one of the symbol, then it's going to affect it everywhere mm -hmm. in the screen but maybe we don't do that. Um, right, so this is how to do a symbol. And maybe I can set some character styles. I'm gonna reuse that style later on. And also, not maybe not some, not this one. Um, so someone, Chavez Prokop, was asking about the contest. So let me share my screen uh, and show you one entry. So basically, we ask you to create at least a three design prototype using XD, and the theme is shopping. And uh, tweet the link to your prototype because with XD, at any time you can share and we create a link. Uh, so here we have Andreas, for instance. We also have uh, uh, Vivek. Okay, so let's see. So Andreas, uh, so it's a shopping experience of this uh, famous book for. Uh, designers it's a yeah. reference so then i can Actually, yeah. cart again yeah. cart mm -hmm. proceed to check out it's very clean mm -hmm. select the address go to shipping fast shipping is uh, yeah very clean let me see if i can do this yeah very good job yeah, very like clean. It's a perfect way to express what would be a uh, yeah, shopping cart checkout experience. Very good job. And then the Cook Coffee app. Nice logo. Oh, that's cool. And sign in. Oh, with that's the clean. Yeah, yeah, this is the Android uh, keyboard. Nice. Ooh. That's pretty neat. Nice. nice. Nice scroll. Yep. Add to cart. Yep. Ooh, look at that search, blur. Yeah. Yep. There's a background blur. Yeah. Nice. Good job. All right, so let me just send you those three. Are you on our job? Very nice work. So yeah, keep sharing. Uh, we're always happy to, to feature your work. And um, and before the end of the show, yeah, we will ask uh, Claude and Jessica the one, the I mean, which prototype the they want to mm -hmm. you know, reward. So keep on keep on posting. So material design is as King Zhao was saying. So this is something when you open Adobe XD, you have access to UI kits, including the Google Materials one, mm -hmm. uh, and it will load the XD project that you can have on your disk and use at any time with all the icons, the color themes. I mean, you, if you want to prototype using the material design style guide. So what I'm going to do right now is that I'm going to create a mask with, I have my big B shape here and I actually want to be like an image to go inside of it to create like a cool logo. And um, so I'm gonna select those two shapes. Right now it's in my symbol. Should not be, oh. And yeah, so if I select the two shapes and I go to, sorry, here, mask with shape, then it goes inside. Mm -hmm. Nice. 
So now I can edit inside there and go take my image and place it like I want. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be masked in there. So I want to see. I'm going to be able to see the surfer in a and bit. The waves are pretty cool too. Yeah, so if I bring it inside, maybe do something like that. Or okay. And the goal here, like, it, I mean... In the real world, once it would be live, I would love to see like some sort of like a video playing in there. That would could be pretty neat. Yeah, for sure. Hi, Jiro. So Jiro is happy to see some stream about Eurex design. Okay, awesome. Yeah, we 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 try to to cover all the creative fields. Uh, if you want to see a stream about a specific topic, let us know in the chat, as we are uh, scheduling the streams for the end of the year. If you want to see also special guests or designers that you would like to see featured on Adobe Live, also feel free to share the names in the chat. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it works. Yeah, good. Nice. Yeah, I like it. All right. Cool. We're going to bring this that. Bring more co colors in there. And let's tone this down a bit. Cool. So I Hi, Tamla. Thanks for joining. Not sure about colors so far. Say so right. No, nothing. I mean, like the. I think it's the funny. color comes from the images. All right. Maybe. Yeah. Or if you uh, if you want, you can um, slack me that or not slack me. Um, if you use slack a lot at, <laughs> at telepathy too. You can airdrop me that, and then I can just do some random color exploration on the side. Oh, the file itself. Mm, that first screen. Yeah, I'll do. I'll do that later though. Okay. Let me just okay. finish Let the. Let me um, save. I should probably save. Yes. <laughs> yes. That would be great. All right. Oh, look. My screen. Um, I'm just trying to add basically a faux, hip, faux filter on all of these. Um, so if you're curious about what's going on here, I'm just um, adding some adjustment layers that are uh, non non de uh, non destructive and then adding kind of a difference layer to kind of give it that hipster Instagram sort of <laughs> feel <laughs> since that's what you want on this uh, Betterment app. Sounds great. Um, that's too hipster. What the heck? Uh, and then, well, how many more do I have? I've got this one. Ah, Yogi. Um, playing with some curves. Just trying to mellow out some of the contrast here. Make sure that's not too crazy. <laughs> so Kevin's asking, is it possible to use um uh, a GIF uh, directly in SD. Uh, I don't think no. I don't think so. It won't yeah. render animated GIF. Uh, Although yeah. that's a request that's that I've seen a lot on. Yeah. on that's what I would voice. want right now to like great like. Yeah. So if you go on uh, Adobe xd.userverse.com and the uh, mods will put the link in the chat. This is where you can request new features and vote for features. And I know that there is already a big uh, that's mm -hmm. cool conversation yeah. about yeah. adding animated GIF. Um, is something and we render it in the Dad. web I mean yeah this is something that could be done I guess just a, a matter of priority but I think it could be useful if you work with motion designers who could animate micro interactions yeah mm. that would be nice all right Cloud I've got all the images in here I think I'll number the other ones uh, though Tarun you want yeah. to integrate layers from other Adobe software so today there is no direct import from Photoshop or Illustrator but you can just copy paste like if you create a logo like a cloud uh, in Illustrator, just uh, copy paste it, and mm -hmm. you will get uh, directly your vector files in uh, Adobe XD. All right, so Hello, Mehmet. Thanks for joining. There they are. Cool. All right. If you send me uh, something, or actually, I could wear that last screen real quick, right? This mm -hmm. one. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. I don't know if you want to sketch it out first or. Hi, Robert. Welcome sketch. back. Okay. Like cool. Congratulations sure. again for the cool prototype you shared yesterday. Hello, Julio. So Let us know where you're all from because I, I, I feel that we have an international audience. All right. I see some accents on the on the characters of some <laughs> last names. <laughs> That's a good sign. It's a good sign. All right. um, so we have two uh, new friends from the chat who shared prototypes. Oh, nice. Both very, very cool. good. So. We have uh, Neha Sood and uh, Ryan Rank. So uh, Neha, she sent XD Home. Okay. Uh, so it's to 
is to pick a, a home mood, I guess. So we'll take the, the blue. And, uh, oh, nice. Yeah, very nice That's layout. Cool. Very cool. It looks really editorial. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Looking, yeah. It looks nice. Wow. It's very nice. Lots of crazy looking looking nice. Seat. Wow. Just want to make sure I didn't. Oh, okay, there were two items. Yeah. Good job. Let us know Niha how how like uh, how long it took, you know. And then we have the ice cream order app by bye 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 Ryan. Uh, what's funny is that it starts with the loading screen. Okay, that's cool. That's yeah. that's funny. First it's time I see this. Yeah. And then it's an ice cream store. And I, what I really like Ooh. is that if I select the flavor, it will uh, you know show. Oh, oh. that's a, that's neat. That's very cool. And I can add to the cart. It's added. Background blur. That's yeah, super some cool. Background blur. Nice. Yeah, it's very smart. Favorite so far. That's my favorite so far. Yep. Yeah, you like this one? Mm-hmm. Okay. Keep sharing. Uh, create prototypes with Adobe XD, and there is a share button. It will generate uh, a link that you can then uh, tweet, adding the Adobe Live hashtag. This is how I can monitor what's happening and what's coming from the community. Um. So if you guys want to go to my screen real quick, I guess you are right now. So um, on my screen right now, I'm not sure if people are familiar with this. I think so, Talon might have shared it yesterday. And, um, oh, yeah, Danielle, this is the new wireframe. This uh, is the new wireframe kit that's available. Um, you can go to Behance and there is an available download. That's yeah, where I got this. We'll find the, the link and put yep. it in the chat. So this is free. Mm -hmm. This is for all of you. you. We will invite you to download this. It has been created by an agency. Mm -hmm. I don't oh. remember the name, but yes. Nice. Uh, I don't remember either. But it's really great. There's two. There are wireframes for both the web as well as for mobile. Um, so to give you an example of some common um, global elements you would find in this wire, you've got um, you've got footers. Um, you have um, what else is there? Portfolios, uh, blogs, and I was actually um, going to take a look at some of these and scroll down for the mobile version, the charts, because nice. uh, this is a Betterment app, and so you can see that in this wireframe, um, they have all sorts of fun things you can plop in there to kind of get hmm. an idea of what you want it to look like. Oh, and that's cool. um, the nice thing about this is actually it also features the um, assets panel. So, um, so you can change the global cars. Exactly. So if you have been using the assets panel locally uh, in your working file, um, for example, right here, there's this blue color. You can actually right click and edit it, or you can copy the hex, um, and you can actually go here and pick a different uh, color. And if you look at this uh, workspace, you'll see that that color was applied throughout the entire. Yeah, so, good. so you can change that to whatever you want. And it's not just limited to color. If you want it to, for example, go in, I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see the change, uh, make it a little bit bigger. So if you see that blue, then you can go here, edit it, and um, mm. go ahead and change it to a gradient even. Wow. Um, and go ahead and update those styles. So now, not that you awesome. want your wireframes to be pink to blue gradients, but if you did, you know, you could do that sort of thing. So. Um, I'm just going in here and doing that. Um, so, Claude, you like any of these sort oh. of, you know, for, I was thinking like one of these could here. go in the background maybe. Yeah. Like maybe one of these or something. That's clean, yeah. yeah. They're pretty nice. The dots are pretty cool. Yeah. I think I'll go for the, one. This, one. definitely this one for like the day, like mm -hmm. day 36 out of like yeah. this one. The, the okay, these chart. ones. Yeah. So, um, what I'm going to do now is um, you can very, very easily in Adobe XD go from one working file to another and mm -hmm. paste them in. You just have to click on the artboard and copy it and then paste it here. And you can see all of those styles have um, been brought over. Um, notice, however, though, that the assets have not been brought over. You can actually select the whole artboard and then hit the plus, and it will add everything that you selected to here, as well as character styles oh, or nice. anything like that. So pretty convenient to bring that asset over, those styles over. And I think I'm actually going to take this awesome. as well. I actually, I think I like this one better, so I'm going to do that. So yeah, we have and people from Turkey. I see these. from uh, Alejandro from uh, Venezuela. Susana from Portugal. Yep. Nice. Oh my God. I mean, cool. Portugal is pretty, pretty, pretty late right now, right? Portugal. Uh, it's uh, actually there is a one hour difference. It's not that bad. So okay. Like 5 p.m. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. They are on the London uh, time zone. Oh yes. All right. Oh, Michelle is from Hong, Hong Kong. And this is late. This is late. Right right now. Now. What wow. time is it in Hong Kong, Michelle? This is late. Henry K from Brazil. Nice. Oops, 
Mm, right, in like maybe two minutes, I'll be able to show some repeat grid action. Oh, uh -oh. I might beat you to it. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna, um, oops, I was gonna go ahead and do it too, but we can start with you. No, yeah. no, no I, I'm not ready. I'm yet. still going. I'm still okay. going at it. Yeah. So. Oops. All right. So if I did this right. Colombia, Chile. Wow, we have a lot of people from yeah. South America. It's awesome. So one real quick thing, if you guys want to show my screen, I am going to do one of the repeat grid things, which is pretty neat. Is um, So a lot of people already know with repeat grid, you can actually throw in a set of images and then put them into the, the, the object, whether it's a circle or square, and then it will cascade and repeat those uh, images. However, I don't know if people actually know you can do the same for text, actually, uh, oh. which is pretty slick when you're making comps that have, you know, let's say you're doing a find the friend list and activity feed and you have a ton of users that you want to put in and you don't want to depend upon Lorem Ipsum or writing those custom names yourself. Um, and so right now I have just an object and I have a just a simple text um, of the number one and this is placeholder, right? I can write anything I want here. So this is centered to both elements, just going to make sure that they're perfectly centered and I'll group them. And um, I'm going to turn this into a repeat grid, which is just command R. Um, and have this go across the screen. So let me just tighten that up a little bit. Since uh, in Claude's vision, we want to have this nice calendar that shows you that these oh, are yeah. each circles that are going to be day by day, um, one through a hundred, right? Yep. Okay. So what I did is I took a simple text file and I wrote one, two, three, four, five, six. Let me actually mm -hmm. make this bigger. Uh, I just did numbers straight and I turned it into a text file, which is right here. So you can see in my preview that you've got one through 20. Um, and all I'm gonna do is just like the image, I'm gonna actually drop this in to the text field so you can see it's highlighted. And what it'll do oh, is actually okay. populate the text. Uh, I didn't even know you could do that. Yeah, and so you can <laughs> do that unique, with yeah. anything. Yeah, names, like ex yep, Excel. Yep, a cell sheet, yeah. right? Take that and then just That's cool. plop those numbers in. Yeah, and so super easy way to populate. You know, if you're working with a client and you want to, um, I think one of the common things that designers do is they forget that there's some of those edge cases, especially when it comes to text fields, when it's a uh, uh, names, for example. And so um, in your mock, you may be writing, Laura Mipsum or some um, very short kind of convenient word, yeah. but it really helps using real data, <coughs> um, real information. And so even in this case, which is as simple as just numbers, you can actually go in and populate it that yeah, way and neat. really make sure your designs make sense for the real world application. So yeah. pretty cool, awesome. So. so we can switch back to mine and I'll show another way of using uh, repeat grid, which is probably my, my favorite feature of the whole Adobe XD. <laughs> Maybe because I'm lazy and it just makes my <laughs> life so easy, it's so much easier. Or you want to be uh, efficient, not lazy. Yeah, efficient, yeah. You want to be efficient. Because <laughs> so, this is a task you do all the time. Yeah. Like, uh, having repeated items, especially so, in apps. So let me redo, let me do this. All right. So um, right now I want to create the different tiles that will represent a different betterment that I can select from. So you saw it. Like I, I took a bit. I did a bit of work here. We'll have the the home screen. Then we'll like go to the pick the betterment. And I thought it would be pretty cool to be able to filter them by different categories. So we have all betterments, maybe all sports related, art related. Maybe maybe another one is health related. Related. We mm -hmm. could have like I don't know meditation, yoga, or I don't know in there. Uh, so right now, what I want to do is to build those tiles. Um, I'm gonna click the two elements that will that are like the small items that create that bigger um, item and then hit the repeat grid top right here mm -hmm. and then it creates that 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 new shape that has different handles in there that I can just click and drag and it will magically copy um, the element twice so and another cool thing is that I can also adjust the padding in there and it will move everything perfectly. Yep, love that. Mm -hmm. um, so now let's say I'm pretty happy with that. Um, but I don't want only two items. So the neat way is that it you can do it um, vertically too. So if yep. you click and drag there, it's going to repeat the same padding that you previously selected. And then you have like a bunch of elements in there. But now you're going to tell me, Claude, I don't want like only surfing. 
Well, the, the nice <laughs> thing is that you can go go ahead and change uh, one by one the different things. But right now, I'm just going to populate those with images. Yeah, images first. So it's I know easier. what it's going to be. <laughs> um, so, all right. This is pretty centered to me. Again, it's a prototype. Yeah. So why, why are you looking for Jessica? Someone is asking. Oh, uh, <laughs> <I'll> <laughs> <from Brighton? laughs> well, yeah, what's well, going on there? No, 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 let's keep going here. All I'll right. look at me in a second. Cool. <laughs> um, so the neat thing is that I have all of my nice Adobe stock images that Michael provided me yeah. even I mean, you, this, this you morning, did the this morning early provided yeah. me that yeah. so nice. And then now they're all in a f uh, folder in my in my desktop. And the neat thing, I can just like click and drag and hover over uh, the shape here, where, which I want to be like all contained in. And magically, if I just click and drag and release, it populates the different images with uh, the right content in there. So it's pretty magical. I, I like it a lot. Um, so now I can see that my repeat grid in my layer there, it's the elements that are in there mm. are, are like, yeah, or my repeat grid. Um, so maybe what I want to do next is to um, change the text color. So we'll mm -hmm. show that by changing the text color, it changes everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, maybe right now, you can't really read the text that well, we right? You could add a gradient in there. Had a gradient on top? Mm, on the bottom beneath the, mm. beneath wow. the text. Yeah, okay. let's yeah, do just this. Just going up. A faded. Yeah. <clears throat> so if I go in my repeat grid, and I select square there, mm -hmm. right? But now it's not in my repeat grid. No, you can't drag it in. You have to paste it in. Yep. Perfect. There. So now it's everywhere. You see, like, it's live mm. object. So if I remove the border and I go ahead into fill, and you can easily switch from solid color to a gradient. And right now, my gradient, what I want to do there is to put a subtle black gradient there that will make the, the text stand out really nicely. Mm -hmm. So by clicking here, I can completely remove, change the opacity to zero. Mm -hmm. And then if I'm here, I can bring this to black. Mm -hmm. And technically, let's kind of add that at the bottom. Yep. Bring this here. Yeah. Maybe you can fade to black to black. You know, even black if you black, the so other don't have the black. color yeah. zero. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. You yeah. don't have that perfect. like white kind of in the middle. Yep. Yeah. Otherwise, so you, you could add some gray. Mm -hmm. This. Yeah. We'll black. Like, yeah. Perfect. Okay. And then yeah. we'll bring the text. And bring, change the other. There we nice. go. Nice. Oh, now it's quite That's legible. It's good. Yep. It's getting pretty clean. Yep. Oh, there is a. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. A little, little art clean. direction from Michael. Yeah. Gotta yeah. clean that file up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, can you make it better? A little bit. A little bit polished. It feels too designed. Uh oh. Oh, me. snap. You'll thank me when we're in camp. <laughs> you thank me when we be in camp. <laughs> the can uh, in January. <laughs> nice. I still um, need that. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I need All, right. <laughs> All right. So now I'm I should be technically this. pretty perfect in there. All right, this looks pretty clean, right? Yeah, it looks Maybe great. Maybe I can like tone it down. The gradient, just a little bit, just a little bit. Oh yeah, that looks nice. And Perfect. then all you're doing was just using your uh, numbers there. Yeah, yep. nice. And now I can change this to painting. painting. Yep. Awesome. Guitar. Very cool. That's how you spell guitar, right? <laughs> <laughs> Fitness. Fitness. And maybe we can bring this. Probably want to do the rest since we're going to scroll yeah. this right. Um, oh, and then maybe this is actually a great time to kind of talk about the scrolling a little bit. Yeah. So uh, when you import the different artboard artboards in, it mm -hmm. will automatically like cut Create it. A fold. Yeah. Cut it where like you know it's the full screen. But mm -hmm. uh, the the nice thing is that um, you can extend your artboard to be longer mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then you can yeah. still see that fold line so you'll see mm -hmm. that at this point you'll need to scroll yeah. to see the rest of the content okay. so right now my repeat grid is not long enough so I can just mm -hmm. continue here mm -hmm. you'll see that it's repeating like I didn't drag that much images uh, mm -hmm. but maybe it's like this is pretty good yeah so by default when you uh, create a single uh, size 
single resolution and it actually when you click on the artboard you get the option it will create a fold automatically and allow scrolling to happen so if you're making a prototype that has a lot of content and you want that prototype when the user is on that screen to be able to scroll down, then mm -hmm. it will, as long as you just make the original artboard longer, that's all that matters, and it will scroll vertically down for you. Um, and then also... Um, so if I click on the play... Yep, and then oh, it doesn't... Next screen, that one, yep. And then you see that you can Scrolling. scroll. Nice. Yep, and we'll show is. later on the phone how yeah, it's going to feel. Yep. And also if you share a prototype on the web, this is mm -hmm. thing, you, you can also scroll. Yep. It's very cool. All right, right, so cool. someone was asking me what I was doing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm glad you were watching the, the rainbow. So I was actually, um, if you look at the comp that I'm about to do, uh, Claude hasn't really given me much creative direction on okay. the vision of some of these little, these little assets. So I was going to go ahead and take some liberties and add a little bit of color to this. Um, and so all I was doing is uh, I was looking at gradients on a quick search, and I mm -hmm. was just selecting them and adding them to my desktop. So you can see well, right here all those gradients. gradients. Um, this is one of my uh, favorite inspiration sites to look at, um, designinspiration.net. Um, and so I just typed in gradients. Um, yeah. Designinspiration.net. Mm -hmm. And then I found a couple oh. more cool gradients because Google That's search nice. sometimes doesn't have it. So, you know, and all I was doing was just making little squares because um, now that I have enough squares, I think that's probably a probably good amount. I'm going to make a folder on my desktop. I'm going to put all of these in. And, you know, people have different ways of finding resources. Um, when you're working really, really fast and you just want to get a proof of concept across the screen, <coughs> like my favorite go-to is just honestly selecting and copying things um, just manually real quick because it takes you seconds. And so I'm going to take that folder and um, go in here. And that same grid right here, I was just going to play with this idea of maybe trying a bunch of gradients for circles. And so now you have a fun little unique sort of <laughs> yeah, splash. Cool. Yeah. Maybe a little too much. Well, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> um, and then I was just going to just gonna play with that. So that's why I was randomly selecting a bunch of um, different things. And I'm actually going People to... People are watching you. They were watching yeah. you. They were staring at They were like, why yeah. is she going yeah. around <laughs> selecting 50 million different <laughs> gradients, right? And so I think what we're talking about is something like this, right? Where it shows that they've done 17 days of mm -hmm. whatever. Yeah. Oh, so nice. Yeah. When I look at yours, it's like I realize that there's a little bit of this hue. So I actually think I'm going to go in and uh, I just locked that by accident. Um, change it to maybe something like this and then something like that and then something like that and then Susie is saying, why not? Why does my college not teaching any UX design? Yeah, sorry, Susie. Uh, what? Uh, because Susie, she's uh, going to college. And she's oh, no, they don't teach UX design at my college. Oh. Uh, yeah, but you That's can watch okay. it and be live. I mean, That's fine. And, you know, there's, yeah. you know, this is the best. Um, so I'm self-taught. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't yeah. go to school for UX. I, yeah, self-taught. I went for graphic design. Half yeah. the people that I meet who so uh, we hire, yeah. everybody is self-taught. This is a new industry. Yeah, like it's, it's new. UX has been around for a while, but in terms of learning it, you know, um, there are so many great resources that are oh, all like free. So or a blog. Oh, like it's a lot of people. <laughs> wink, <laughs> wink. Uh, <laughs> wink, wink. But honestly, um, and in the recent year, I've seen a lot of um, increase in. There's actually a huge push right now for further education in primarily UX, like very, very practical okay. design. And um, because you've got this bridge between, here I go on my philosophical box here for a second. <laughs> you've got this bridge between people who um, are teaching currently um, some of the less, like the, the less recent things. And then, you know, every single year, new things are coming out, new trends are coming out. Gradients, for example, are <laughs> becoming an old trend. If not, they are already yeah. kind of old, right? Like, you, uh, yeah, it's you know, and so you're always, even us, like we're always self-learning all the time. So mm -hmm. um, even though your school maybe doesn't teach it, I think that there's just so many great programs, um, so much 
everything on Medium is amazing. I read Medium every day. There's always things you can learn from. Great publications that actually just yeah. teach nothing but UX. Um, the Adobe blog actually also teaches a lot of UX too. Um, you yeah. can get those resources anywhere. So, cool. um, great time. Oh my God, I this thing. So I have an official one for Tilly Patel. Oh, nice. Oh we my need it. goodness. And our director. <laughs> nice. We were hiring for an art director. Just got it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was replacement. I'll put it on your desk. Okay, perfect. And then every time you yeah. ask for something. So amazing. do I still need to come to work? Or <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, this is amazing. All right, surfing. We're good. And uh, so we received more prototypes. Maybe you can share my screen. Uh, we have a uh, Karim. So we invite you to create uh, a prototype using AdobeXD. The theme is shopping. And Karim said something with a brand. It's called Reyes. With a new collection. Brooklyn. Oh. oh, that looks nice, yeah. Yeah, oh, it's in French. Oh, where are you from, Karim? Oh, That's very cool. slick. It's yep. neat, huh? Pool. Nice categories, yep. Ah, oh, look, I, I like this, you know, like to Where emulate you the, the peak. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's windows. cool. The peak that's is nice. nice. Yeah. And here you can just do this. Yeah. And here there's a shopping cart. Oh, yeah. Mm. Look at that. Profile. Yeah. Very clean. Yeah, Very that's nice. super cool. Nice color Very clean. Palette, yeah. Good job. Good photography. Very cool. And the chicken flow, we had it already. We have uh, Chris. Hampshire, Chris, where are you? Whoa, skated. That's for you, Claude. Oh, yeah. oh nice. That's cool. Okay, shop now. Oh, using the repeat grid. Okay, mm -hmm. long dark jacket. Long dark jacket, yes. Ah. <laughs> you need to work on the scrolling feature, but that's good. That's a very good start. Yeah. Now you know how. Now to you know how to now do you it. Now you know how, yep. And we have uh, Matt Brissette, Croustade Pomme. Ah. Either French or from uh, Montreal. I know Matt, Matt Brissette. I know I used to work with him. Really? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I used that to work Mac with Milan him. Agency yeah, now. exactly. Yeah. yeah, I know him. So he's uh, from Quebec. Yeah, oh. yeah. He went to the oh. same school as me, and then we no worked way. together at oh, Ola Web right Studio. Oh, look, look at what he did. Hello, Matt. Ça va bien. Oh, oh, that is a nice, nice, nice oh. interaction there. That's pretty slick. C'est bien, Matt. Bravo. Yeah. Hey. Very nice. Very hey. nice. Quebec. Quebec. <laughs> <Nous sommes là. laughs> uh, and then we have uh, George. G event welcome. Okay. Oh, this is to pick an event. Okay, so it's more oh, a professional okay. lab. Yeah, yep. good job. Yep. It's very small, George. Yeah, this. Oh. The <laughs> Can you tap for it a mobile with your app? Finger? Yeah, ah. with your finger. Make sure people. But this is part of the user testing. Yeah. So maybe. Uh, we will show at some point how you can preview your prototype directly on the phone. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure that George, you will uh, <laughs> you will realize that oh no, I, if I try to tap on this button, this is tapping on the next one. Yeah. Uh, because it's not being enough. So it's yeah, it's a good way. But yeah, thanks for sharing. I mean, so many cool prototypes. George uh, designed 12 screens. It's very good. Mm. Very good start. All right. Awesome. Okay. So Claude. Yes. Now you are walking on the screen explaining, oh yeah, what is the surfing uh, challenge? Yeah, so right now we went from that first home screen, introducing what's the better Karim, Betterment French, app. Yeah. And then next we invite the user to pick one Betterment. In that case, we'll, we'll take surfing because it's a pretty cool photo. Um, and once you tap on surfing, then you would get uh, the detail about that Betterment. So right now I just... Um, Grab a really boring Wikipedia description of what surfing yeah, is. You know, you know. surfing is surfing. Yeah. Yeah, and um, we'll type in some ex maybe some expected results after a hundred days of surfing. <laughs> Matt Matt says go Habs. Go what Habs. Is, what so is this? You don't know what's the Habs? It's a team? Yeah, it's the Montreal Canadians. For it's like the hockey or what? No, it's like the it's the FC Barcelona of hockey. Oh, so like it's oh, no, of no, but hockey. Of hockey. Ah, it's like the best hockey it's like, team. Yeah, it's the most known. They won the most championship, oh, but okay. now it's been years. Hockey. It's been years. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I've played some uh, hockey video games on my Nintendo oh, yeah? back in yeah. the yeah. back in the days, but uh, actually, Paul, Paul, we went to a hockey game. 
we did. Yeah, in, in Tampa. Oh, nice. Yeah. In yeah. Tampa Bay? Yeah. The Lightning. Oh. It was the, yeah, the only match I've ever been of hockey. So we were in Tampa, so it was so warm, and in Florida. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Florida, it was like yeah. 115 degrees. I don't remember. Wasn't it hot so here too recently, just like that? Oh um, yeah, we <laughs> had a heat wave uh, last week. Yeah, I heard it was like the record breaking. Yeah, record like all time. Yeah, oh my goodness. And um, yeah, it was interesting. <laughs> and uh, we, so you know, I was in Florida just with one t-shirt. So, oh, hockey game, yeah. That's <laughs> oh my god. Oh, you went inside in in. Yeah, I just had a t-shirt. Oh, okay, okay. Oh <laughs> it was like a fridge. It, you didn't remember that hockey is actually on ice? Yeah, that's the nine eight. Uh, <laughs> I didn't receive the main one, but yeah. Oh my god. All right. Hey, Louis, welcome back. I see some names who were with us uh, yesterday and also on Tuesday. That's good. Thanks for coming back. Um, yeah, if you enjoy Adobe Live, let us know in the chat, you know, if you want us to cover other creative fields, if you want to see some uh, designers that maybe you know on Behance that you follow, you admire their work and you want us to invite them, just share the names in the chat and we have the mobs, they, they, they will just save everything and I will make sure to contact them. Cool. All right, so then we have a button there. See how quick is it? It is. Oh with yeah, symbols. with the symbols, it's so, so good. good. Mm -hmm. So good. Boom. All right. So actually, we're gonna try to stitch a few screens just to show uh, the prototype feature of Adobe XD. Um, so the oh, nice yeah, thing okay. about Adobe XD and for UX designers out there, um, prototyping has become like a a pretty like niche skill set, and it's you have different ways of doing it with yeah. different sorts of tools. Yeah. But I've never seen a tool that like allows you to prototype that fast mm. from uh, in uh, Adobe XD. So the idea of, of prototyping is to stitch multiple screens together in order to somehow bring that experience to life. So I'm going to quickly switch from design to prototype in Adobe XD. So the top left corner, um, you can switch there. So now you see that you're in prototype mode. Um, once you're in prototype mode, then every element becomes, if you click on them, they become some sort of a, a yeah. hotspot. Yeah, they can and become yeah, interactive. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, by clicking on this one on the button, you see that the whole blue area there is now um, interactive. So once you're like that specific area will be the tappable um, spot. So now that it's blue like that, you see that little arrow here on the right. If you click and drag on that arrow, you select the target of where you want to go by tapping mm. on this specific button. In that case, we want the Betterman selector screen. So you see, just to confirm here, there's a little contextual menu when you release the mouse. So it's going to go on the Betterman selector. And in that case, maybe we want um, Paul Tranny's favorite transition, the push up. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll take the push up here and we're gonna just go ahead here and and just try to play it so you see push up push up push it up works. push up <laughs> <laughs> um so this is a just a way to quickly like that we're able to um, prototype stuff and show the the effect the mm -hmm. desired effect mm -hmm. there um, so then on this screen, I would like to select only the, the surfing tile here and go into detail. And then again, push up. Very nice. Right? Very nice. That's good. And then you would like to go back to the all the betterments. So maybe if I group those two by hitting Command G. Then I go with prototype, and then I want to actually go back to all the betterments here. So maybe we'll try something else here. Meet it slight left. Oh no, should be slight right. right. And there is a way also to say uh, go back to the previous screen. 
you know when you have oh. a complex navigation oh when you have a lot and you don't know what was the previous screen you can just say go back to the previous so screen this memory. one would be previous artboard mm -hmm. yeah for instance right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. click so if you access oh, this artboard nice. from this screen that's you know, cool then nice it will just remember so you started from this so he has no idea oh so it okay, doesn't okay. work but if you click here and click on preview now you go to surfing and, go, and it will go back oh that's cool yeah. that's super cool all right so let's go back to design a little too much text uh, so there was a question from Karim uh, because okay so Karim you need to realize that now like Jessica and Claude are building a prototype in two hours oh so in real life they of course they well, the they take more time so yeah. they, they want to know like in your process in the agency if you use wireframes what is the role of wireframes you know when you yeah, so it depends on the application. So if you are making a website, um, uh, something that's the goal is to digest information, okay. um, then wireframes can play a really critical role in um, the content strategy, right? So the mm. flow that users will be um, digesting information of. Um, it's a great way, especially if um, you're not the person in charge of writing um, and you are actually trying to facilitate that conversation with stakeholders to make sure that everyone is on the same page and is able to tell the story that they want to tell. Um, that's where wireframes for marketing sites can be quite valuable. Um, we use wireframes for that all, all the time in terms of talking about the high level conversation you're trying to have and then helping um, people who aren't necessarily in the design process, maybe your major stakeholders, um, kind of understand what this design is going to look like, um, something they could collaborate with and then um, they can actually write content content too in a very collaborative, collaborative ma uh, manner and then in terms of wireframing for um, an application um, that's where um, you know the cost of design versus dev is incredibly disproportionate right and so the time it takes for someone like us like anybody in this chat probably um, to be able to drum up a wireframe that's interactive and is able to show what that experience looks like um, costs way less than for a developer to have to actually engineer and prototype that right and so the value of wireframings in an application experience is to be able to really get as close to that working fidelity as possible um, making sure that it works making sure that it resonates and that it's intuitive for the experience that you have um, and then being able to iterate on that rapidly. So conveying those ideas, I guess, in a nutshell um, is really the biggest purpose of a wireframe. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Sorry, I was not like. No, no, no. Crazy. I mean, they're, yeah. they're, they're pretty much like a, and to sum it up, they're pretty much like a bridge, like mm -hmm. a bridge of um, being able to get what's in your head out onto something that people can see. Because yeah. mm. what's in your head and what you say is, yeah. and what someone interprets that is completely different. But so. even to get your thoughts going, sometimes like this morning, we didn't start and do like directly in XD and everything is magical and like ideas come. No, like none that. of these three days we, we did. We started actually. with some yeah. sketches first just to get our ideas out of the way and then. Yeah. Yeah. Never, never start in a tool. Yeah. If you're no. when you're concepting, always start um, and with paper and pen. That's just it's like golden rules. So just always start and get those ideas out on a paper or on a whiteboard. Um, just the bridge between what you're thinking in your head um, into paper is is going to be mm. the most effective way. Otherwise, when you get in the app and you're starting to design and figure out the things that are in your head there, um, you're already polishing at that point. Mm -hmm. You're in a different mindset than what you should yeah. be in in terms of ideation. You need more cons yeah, you need constraints. I Absolutely. Guess. Yeah. yeah. Uh, with paper, paper and pen, you have a lot of constraints. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. uh, like you, yeah, you won't be precise. You, you will, yeah. Yep, uh, you absolutely. don't have any uh, what's the name like uh, guides, you know, to yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. to be perfectly aligned. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you don't waste time yeah. designing. It's true. Good feedback. Um, oh, Michael uh, Mondragon said that's a great explanation of the role of wireframing. So yeah, thanks, Jessica. Great. Okay, we have two new prototypes shared by our friends. Uh, we have uh, Alexander Volkov. He designed an experience to uh, license a font. So maybe something we oh. should use for a typeface. Nice. Yeah. Uh, get started. I like this. Uh, Open. Oh, that's yeah. adorable. <laughs> uh, this is Futura. Ooh, your favorite my, font. My favorite font. <laughs> <laughs> Which favorite is available font. on TypeKit. It's always my favorite font. Oh, and uh, Libra. Oh, okay. So you, you select your 
in your car. Oh my God, Baskerville's my phone. second favorite. That's <laughs> really? <laughs> this. <laughs> uh, this yeah, is just for you. It's no it? secret that those two are like my favorite fonts. Of really? The <laughs> and then yeah. Pidget's Food Plus, so a classic uh, shopping experience, I guess, for food. Start the order. Okay, nice. Mm -hmm. yeah, very cool. Items in the cart. Nice. Yeah. Shipping too. Yeah, that's yeah. Nice. I like the yeah, the footer here. Yep. Very easy to read. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, good job. Very nice. Yeah. Keep prototyping. Very good job. And share on Twitter using the Adobe Live hashtag. The mm. theme is shopping. So that's why we have so many shopping experiences. Yeah. Good. Great. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Content. Content's yeah, important on a wire, yeah. right? Maybe not that far here. So this is the mentor screen. Oh. Can you share me um, your thing so I can actually take some of those styles and then sync yeah, it perfectly? Yeah, yeah, All right, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. just uh, drop that to me. Yeah. Because I want to make sure it matches. Yeah. And there are no colors in this whole UI, aside from the Let's photography. See. All right, I'm going to, how am I supposed to make it? All right, fine, I'll do this all with white. Let me just make Go on the airdrop. OK. Uh, no. Is it already open? No. Right. I don't like going there. I like going there. Okay. <laughs> so as you are exporting, Andrew is asking. Okay. So Andrew is new to XD. Okay. Cool. Okay. Uh, you want to know how to export images from XD mm -hmm. to another app? Uh, oh, that's start coding. Yeah, that's pretty oh, yeah. easy. No, I drop it to me first. <laughs> okay. Wait. <laughs> Thanks. Cool. So it's actually pretty easy to export images. You just click on it. And then you go to File menu and then Export or Command E. And by clicking that, then you have yeah. different options here. PSG. So in that case, it's a it's an image. So you you would probably select PNG there, and then you can select if you want to export it as 1x or 2x for Retina displays. Um, so it's pretty easy. So and also you can do the same for icons or like any graphics. So for example, that little graphic here, the chevron. Uh, just an arrow back. I want to export it and maybe I want to export it as an SVG and Then you could just ex export it pretty easily. So I Don't I pretty sure it answers the question. Yeah, cool And yesterday we were just telling and we talked about uh, uh, Handoff so oh, like dead you, end off. you design you prototype and uh, in some tools you can hand off which yep. is uh, like a kind of new View or workspace for mm -hmm. develop for developers or coders to yeah, yeah, to yeah. get you know more information about the design. Uh, so this is definitely something uh, on the, road the XD team yeah is working on. Nice. possible from XD to Illustrator, uh, to export from XD to Illustrator with vector shapes and usable text. Uh, you can export SVG and Illustrator can uh, import SVG, Dennis. I would use SVG yeah. as a bridge. Uh, you, you, let me try copy paste. We need some colors, right? I, you know, I've been going this whole time just trying to add colors, but then <laughs> I was going to not add colors because you said not to. <laughs> Do Neither. you want to use colors? No. no, it's good. No? Okay, I'm going to strip everything of color here. Cool. Because, I mean, like, I'm trying to add, like, a bar here, but it's... Eh, I mean, it looks good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, whatever. That looks fine. And if we're going to strip colors, let me just do this. So my mentor is Damien... Damien, Damien Borba. 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 Like that? Yeah. Perfect. And I keep Damien is like a really good Damien. surfer. Yeah. yeah. Damien like that, right, too? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Damien, yep. And his Damien. phone number? Uh, it's is a, a <laughs> 415. <laughs> 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 All right. So I think another thing that I do pretty often in uh, Adobe XD is that I like to, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to explain that that well, but um, I like to set up my different artboards to be horizontal. And then if I have a uh -huh. micro interaction in one of the screen, then I go vertical. Cool. So in that yeah. case, like yep, me too. if I want to do yeah. like this one, that it's like the empty, empty one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I want to like, show the, yeah. the filled one. So like if I go and prototype, 
and let's say we click on this go in there mm -hmm. and then have a dissolve for that mm -hmm. then if I go and test it out it's just I think it brings a lot of good structure while you build your file because it can go pretty crazy when you have like so much artboards in there so that's a little yeah. tip I, I do yeah, especially when you're, you know, um, using a mobile prototype for a test and you want to see if there are, like, you know, errors that your user might make and you want to set up any traps um, yeah. where they can kind of detour. Um, you know, you want to, it's nice to kind of have them go linearly, um, horizontally, so that way you can kind of offshoot those detours and then capture those moments where they're kind of going into features that you haven't mm -hmm. prototyped yet or thought of yet um, and such. Sweet. It's the one that. Well, screen. I'm a, I'm sc I'm syncing your styles. Yeah. Cool. So that way, they feel right. You know, do you have a toggle? Oh yeah, you have a toggle. Let's see. Great. All right. Just gonna see multiple images. Your journal. Okay. Is everything on caps? Yep. Okay. And then... So is that like, what would be the journal in that case? It's like, um, maybe like you log in some is it like, oh, today I surfed and it was well, pretty good session. So just to like keep track of your own like progress probably? This would probably be a, yeah. And yeah. I think what it would do is um, it would, you can click on one of these numbers. Oh, okay. And then it would show you what what you logged in. Like you probably, there's some sort of like login, like log some. Some like a things, log right? of like if you wrote something about that day mm -hmm. or something or you cool. want to see the status of people who are cool. interacting with it yeah and yeah. maybe your mentor can access this oh, yeah. uh, journal as well so he can Write reply you and secret and notes. encourage you yeah nice. cool nice um yeah and i'm just gonna take your colors and delete some colors here. So andrew oh you're we're learning visual studio for cutting that's good so actually you can also design uh, desktop apps you know, any kind of, like a classic Windows app uh, directly with the XD. There is a Windows UI kit. Yes, there is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's it's actually really extensive as well. It's yeah, really so nice. You should check this one, Andrew. Like when you launch at BXD, there is a UI kit uh, category and there is one dedicated to Windows apps. Okay. Could be a nice bridge between, uh, you know, like uh, selling the concept of your app. Uh, to your customers and when they agree on the design then you can jump in uh, Visual yep. Studio and make it happen. Okay, we received a new prototype and it's insane this morning. Now they are, now they are fast, you know, after three days? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They become fast with XD. So we have nice. the, this first one. That's by Bruno. And that's uh, in SAP. Oh, I guess it looks like a school. Mm -hmm. Nice. You can search. Nice. Okay. Nice. Uh, oh, yeah, that's a menu. Sorry. Yep. Ah. Yeah, that's cool. I like the big type yep. here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, nice. I guess he's uh, designing something for the school. That's my guess. So that's nice. Yeah. It's a good job. Then we have uh, Richard. Ah, uh, ice creams ice again. Cream. You know, that's uh, that's yeah, a theme. Nice, yeah. Big the waffle. Yeah. Okay. Waffle. Cool. Oh, oh, it's nice. building the nice. ice cream crater. Oh, that's, that's neat. Nice. That's pretty. Yeah. That's pretty yeah. cool. Yep. Six stars. Gelato. Yeah. Go. Oh. Gelato. 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 That's cool. Uh, I like the builder. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Kevin uh, on Instagram. Okay, Kevin. Oh, you're working oh, on it. Okay, Kevin. Nice. Okay. Share the link when it's some, done. Some work in progress and here. And uh, Lex updated the kids' fashion app. Oh, oh this is with the, this is the new iPhone X. You know, oh, yeah. Oh, look at that yeah. screen. Yeah, with oh, the, that curve on the top. That, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know how I feel top. about that, yeah. too. <laughs> 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 another day, another discussion. Yeah. 
okay. Yeah, but we're gonna have to all design for that now. And then, oh yeah, you select the yours. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's cool. Nice. Yep. Very cool. Good job, yeah. Keep sharing, and uh, at the end of the show, in about uh, 30 minutes or 40 minutes, uh, we will uh, vote. Ask uh, yeah, Jessica and Claude which one they want to reward with a credit card subscription. So right here, I tried a few images that could blend in nicely in the big B. Mm -hmm. um, so the idea would be to have uh, either I like rotating image yeah, or like a just a video playing, yeah. yeah, in there. So it looks like a really simple branding, but when you put some some nice inspiring visuals in there, it looks mm -hmm. pretty cool. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, which screen should I? Well, isn't there still? Do don't you wanna? Should you should make a wait. Scroll down. So mm. I could like do the send invite and like invite was sent. Mm -hmm. Probably mm -hmm. cool. She's my boss. I need to ask her. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, so hey, real quick on this description here. So what's happening? So person is they're going to be they're going to click into one of these, right? Day whatever. Yeah. Uh -huh. So let's say they click into day three. Oh uh, yeah. Then maybe you wrote uh, at day three you would say. Still, still struggling, struggling. <laughs> still struggling. How Surfing is hard. How long did oh it take you to learn how to I'm surf? Still, I'm still not good. Okay, <laughs> what's your day three? What would you have said on day three? I would say, I still struggling. I'm sore. I'm I want to so quit. Uh, please, Damien, help me. <laughs> With a few emojis in there. Emojis, huh? <laughs> yeah. You know you can do, go to Emojipedia? It's like my favorite feature. Go to <laughs> Emojipedia.com and then you can copy and paste. Emojipedia? Yeah, what is so that? good. What is this? I am like the worst at emojis. So, like, so what would you search? Surf. Surf. Then click on it, man surfing. Man surfing. And click copy here. And then copy it in the text. Is it gonna? Mm hmm works. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> you can put little emojis in there. So good. You're gonna Same. love the new iOS uh, emoji. No, the an emoji. The an emoji. <laughs> Are you seeing it? <laughs> there, Michael? Not yet. Oh my Not gosh. Yet. All right, surfing, huh? Um, how about some. So these are animated emojis, I guess. It's objects. like uh, the new iPhone 10 has a crazy camera that recognizes your face, so now you unlock with your face. You know that too, right? Not your thumb. Yeah. And, uh, it like they created those animojis uh, can map your face. and map your face in like a I don't know uh, a monkey and then you can record yourself talking with a monkey oh, face okay. and they send it over. Are you serious? That's so good. Okay. Yeah. yeah there's yeah. this. Uh, what was the name of this app? Masquerade. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 It was one of the first mapping your face to apply a mask. Hi, Kevin, you join? Oh, okay, so the app is about betterment. So oh, ac yeah. actually what you can do, Kevin, also is to, now you can, uh, uh, what's the name? Scrub back? Uh, yeah. You know, yeah. To uh, the beginning of the stream, if you want to watch in the introduction, there is DVR now on the YouTube player and you and you can go back to live. Um, but basically you choose a challenge, something you want to practice and learn for 100 days. And this app is here to encourage you, make sure you, yeah. you have some checkpoints every day and uh, you are connected to a mentor to encourage you. Oh no, look at that. Now they have emojis in the chat. They're oh no, oh. emojis everywhere now. Yeah. Now everybody's... Oh, now it's going to copy this? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. spread emojis <laughs> in the, in the, the whole chat, we don't world. have emojis. <laughs> so nice. They, j they have just fallen away. That's cool. Good job. <laughs> Can't communicate without an emoji anymore. Uh, so still no color, huh? Okay. <laughs> that's fine. You can add in some color. No, you know, thinking no, of some active good. states, it's good. It's good. Um, so they're on day three. Maybe I'll add a line. Do we have lines in this yet? Yeah. I'm going to add a line. All right. Does that make sense? I think this needs a label, actually. Jump you to. Go. C. Go to. So they could figure it out intuitively. All right, so basically user goes, they click on three, 
and then they go to this and then from here they can go between the, the next days or the oh, past yeah. and then click on that Perfect. and then get their little yeah <laughs> you know one thing that we could probably add is like some sort of like messaging too like top right top right corner yeah have like a messaging feature little where mail. it's going to be like the conversation between you and your mentor okay yeah i like that good so i'll go ahead do you want to do that better icons thing or you can make an icon i'm just gonna use a smash gun okay so uh let's see okay interaction mm. hmm yeah oh, oh matt. nice invitation set very good <laughs> matt that's good so matt bingham who is a joining us he said i went through the xd toot on download i oh, like what i see, see. Very okay nice. nice and yes there is a cc contest yep. here right now people are making their prototypes yeah. mm -hmm. about at least have a screens. lot of prototypes Three screens. um and then and i know because uh, also this week we are featured on the like if you go on adobe.com we have a uh, free tutorials for adobe xd okay mm -hmm. and um one of them says live like so, oh. you, so you can directly jump to oh that's cool nice. to nice. the adobe live show from the CC Learn, the Creative sure. Code Learn pages. Nice. So I don't know if it's uh, if this is what you did, Matt, but yeah. thanks for joining. Matt has a nice avatar. I like it. A big B. That's it cool. Big, big better, man. <laughs> it's like a, oh no, that's his name. Like yeah, M, M and B. M B. Nice, yeah. it's cool. Crossing. Cool. Huh? That looks great. Oh, Bing and Ham, okay. B and H. Okay. Makes sense. Perfect. So I'm going to connect your screen at the end. All right. I'm still looking for a mail icon. Just go on that better one. All right. Better icon, that one. Invite Santa. So what did Talon show yesterday? More features? Talon from uh, the Adobe XD team? Uh, yesterday, we uh, he, st he took actually a feature request on Userverse. Okay. And, and he started to design it. And it was about how you can uh, add uh, comments, comments, but directly in XD on the design. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And they, with Daniel, they reviewed the changes because uh, first, uh, so someone from the community was saying, ah, oh, we could add uh, comments like in on a PDF, you know, so you add yeah, like, so uh, it's like you know bubbles, contextual, so you yeah. context. Mm. But the issue is that if you have like, I don't know, like uh, 10 people reviewing and you have, uh, I don't know, uh, 20 comments on one artboard, then yeah. you will have like these bubbles yeah, yeah, everywhere. Yeah. So they are working on a way to display uh, contextual comments nice. and make sure the UI is not flooded. Yeah. So they started yesterday and they, they will continue today. That's cool. Yeah. Nice. nice. But they, tune in. they came up with very good ideas. Like cool. Just exchanging. Yeah, it was nice. Really good. Have we uh, shown SVGs ported in yet today? Did we do that? Importing? Importing SVGs nope. and stuff. Okay, so uh, we are we're on my screen. So yep. Went to Feather Icons, was looking for a mail icon, got the mail icon, downloaded it right there, mm -hmm. right? Um, so you can basically go here, and I had that SVG on the bottom, and so I just dragged it into my XD file. Um, and SVGs, um, and this was actually similar to that question around taking it from XD to Illustrator and back, right. SVGs are a great way to kind of maintain the um, consistency there and make sure that that the integrity of the icon still there, but the SVG shows up right here, and this SVG is um, fully editable. So you can actually go in, and if you click into it, um, notice that there's a border color on it. You can assign it a new border color um, or whatever you want. In this case, I'm gonna select the whole thing and then change it however I want. So you can actually uh, take those really easily, and then just to kind of repeat in terms of exporting, you can actually just select the thing that you want to export. Um, and then pick whatever you want, whether it is back in the SVG again for some reason, mm -hmm. or maybe you want to do a PNG and then um, export, and you get basically voila. A voila. Voila. Yeah. You know, you're French. Yeah, she is. Yeah. Well, I'm learning new yeah. things from okay. you <laughs> in French all the time. Like parfait? Voila. Parfait? Yeah, parfait. Oh, yeah. 
you know, oh, the, 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 the first time I, <laughs> I told you that, <laughs> like, she was like, what's the parfait? It means, you know that per- parfait means perfect. She's like, uh, no. you know, parfait is a, oh, the cake. a dessert. Yeah, dessert. <laughs> yeah. I know. Yeah. yeah. I never learned French. We're going to uh, show soon, maybe on the phone. Do you have the... the The, the wire, uh, we you have one? One. Do you have a classic USB, and we we can show the whole flow on like the this one. Or oh, one. Did have more? Your wire? No, we will find one. Okay, yeah. Oh, here we go. Uh, use it in. All right, is that your vision? You wanted the yeah, that's cool. All that's right. super cool. What else do we need? So, send me this. Okay, okay. Oh, good. All right, I'm gonna connect it. Okay, there's the two screens. Uh, yep, yeah, okay. And this one is here. So are you a good surfer now? Nope. <laughs> no? <laughs> Can you surf? Can you like stand? Yeah, just, I just pretend. You just It's pretend. good to pretend. Okay. Uh, All right, cool. Right here, we can use the GoPro. Yeah, perfect. All right. So let's give it a shot. I think we're good. So, yeah. The nice thing about um, designing with um, w- with Adobe XD is that you can connect straight to your phone yeah, in you inside your computer, just using and, USB. and also that you can adjust your type. Uh, so it it's really nice on the on the screen on the yeah. actual phys- physical iPhone screen. Like if you Sometimes move, if you move that B around, like you can actually see yeah, in real like time live. everything. It everything you want to like yeah. modify here. So let's say I, I think this is slightly small. We can m- bump it from 30 to 32, mm-hmm. and like all right, I feel it's a little better. And then also contrast too your colors. You want to play with them like the gray is it too light or not enough? So it's really great to be able to do that real time. Mm-hmm. I remember the days where you needed to export your screen, send oh, it via yeah. email, open used, open the image yeah. on your phone and like, okay, I think it's a little small and then redo, redo. Or um, so it makes it something. really yeah, easy to bad. just go ahead and, and, um, and play with it. So I'm gonna switch right now from design to prototype and well, actually you can go through the experience. No. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, they work? Cool. Oh, yeah. All right. So you could scroll different uh, different categories. In that case, surfing. Wait, is it there? So you can fix it live. So yep. quick. Right. Yeah. Perfect. Yep. And then this should be good. And Damien, send an invite. Oh, this moved a bit. Dashboard. All right. All right. Wait a sec. Let's say dashboard. Born, perfect, and then I switch here. This all is good. Four, let's do push up. I prefer the push up. <laughs> perfect. You see your progress here over the different days, and then we want to maybe show. Oh, you didn't. I didn't make this. a toggle state for that yet. But so. yeah, well, uh, can you tap on day click right? Probably want to click on one day of these. Yes. Yeah. Just have day three. Let's tap on day three. Yep. Oh, maybe not a maybe. push up for that, just dissolve. There you go. Very nice. Yeah. And if you notice uh, where Claude's well, clicking, uh, on yeah. The um, maybe we don't need the all betterment at this point. No, okay. No, because okay. you don't want to cool. go back, but yeah. that would be your main screen. You can see your progress over yeah. your different days and really mm-hmm. just go there on a daily yeah. basis, log your activities chat with your mentor mm-hmm. and really the overall goal is to really like make yeah. you go through those hundred days and hundred days of doing something is intense this was this was a demo but like no joke when we on the last project we worked on together where we were um, doing a mobile app this was literally just what we were doing we yeah. were in a room with user testing on in another room oh, yeah and we were just um, we had the mobile prototype and one person would be holding it and trying to make sure it worked for the test yeah. while the other person was in Adobe XD 
um, changing things on the fly because you know we kept going into like oh we don't yeah. have interaction for that what if the person clicks on that the best thing like we can't mention the name we were who we were working with but like on day one we came in with like a first prototype yeah that we thought internally at telepathy that was like shit <laughs> like I think we're I think it's super good then yeah. but you never know yeah. if if you're good or not you need to test it with users mm -hmm. and that's yep. what we did we turned out a real user testing uh, lab with some users and really a lot of assumptions that we had were just not right yeah. and uh, we were able to adjust on the fly well, then the, the same product. night mm -hmm. like we got all of our learnings so we like let's say a button was too small on a specific screen for a lot like for eight out of 10 users, mm -hmm. we can, we're able to adjust that and really consolidate all those changes and being able to adjust on the fly and then the next day come up mm -hmm. with a second round of user yeah. testing and get some way better wow. results overall. So mm -hmm. again, without any uh, like dev cost, without anything, mm -hmm. it was super easy for us to just like come up with a really nice prototype yeah. that then towards the end we presented to their iOS developer too. He was looking at it. And was able to um, to to like give a big go yeah. and also maybe estimate some time yeah. you know like it's really really close to real life prototype uh, so mm -hmm. yeah that was, that was super great experience and using it for their like real real time on the real uh, client project was mm -hmm. great yep for sure awesome so yeah that's uh, we're pretty much I there what do you want to do next let's do do we have some like uh, in the UI kit some message Oh yeah. Messaging. Oh, no. Let's uh, try uh, get UI kits from Apple. We could also add the uh, Chrome on the top. Mm -hmm. We could add the little bells and whistles in terms of. Um, oh the signal bar, status bar, status bar, that kind of stuff. Cool. So we're at the polish phase. And we didn't actually <laughs> um, record this well, either, no. so or put it on um, the live. Page yet, so we can do that later too. So as you are getting the UI kit, we received two more prototypes: nice. one by Draw with Pixel and one another one by Lex. So the first one is uh, yeah, buy something. Oh, yes, it's, right. it's an interesting yeah. UI actually. With a oh, nice! Wow, yeah. that's sexy. It's very clean. That is very nice. Yeah. I like the shape behind. A lot of depth Colors, here. It's yeah. really cool. Very simple. Yeah. Well, looking at hers, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, put a uh, little number on nice. this thing. Oh, look, you try to do the accordion. Oh, nice. Oh, the carousel effect. This that is feels really clean. Really nice. Yeah. Very yep. neat. And then that's another shopping experience, I guess. Yeah, localized. Mm -hmm. So. Kevin is saying to add the Apple Watch experience to this app. Ah, it's oh, as a UI kit. Yeah, or as I think a, in the main nice. I think you can't really probably preview it, but you can easily if you add another artboard. You get the different watches mm -hmm. here, like the watch, watch twenty two. There, so yeah. you get, at least you get the sizing yeah, in mean, there and like the watch is there. So I guess it's more just uh, putting that yeah. in the iPhone and testing it that way as well. The Apple Watch, yeah. Yeah. Cool. What I wasn't doing. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, you're gonna add a. I yeah, the missing thing is not there. Mm, yeah. Mm. yeah, you could add some <coughs> interstitial states, like uh, add the keyboard for. Oh. You in know there. what I mean? Like so, add a new screen. Oh. Um, and then just iterate on that, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then uh, that way it looks like someone's actually tapping yeah. through that experience. Let me make that toggle experience, because uh, oh, yeah. you're talking about why to do that. So, let's see, toggle experience. What's in the progress feed? Wasn't this going to be um, examples of other people also doing the same better? Oh, yeah. Right? We had the idea here also to bring like how many people are doing that same oh, betterment yeah. so yeah. you can yeah, have. Yeah, yeah. And we're going to put a say. counter there, right? I thought it was finished, but you never finished. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
Okay, in the progress feed, then what I'll do is I'll add just pictures of mm -hmm. people posting from um, various things. Okay, let's Maybe see. I can try the background blur too. Mmm, fancy background blur. Let's see how many are in there. Then you can add it to it too, right? Or no? Uh, no, you yeah. choose uh, if it's dark or no, like okay. this one. Yeah. And uh, and the sun, you see, if you want the bright. Uh, Perfect. Yeah. And that crazy. And. So maybe we can focus. Yeah. Like that. So you would type in. Well, we're, we're making m missing some micro interaction, but here I wanted to add. <coughs> People there, maybe with hearts or something. I don't even know. Uh, oh, here's my mentor. Just oh, got he in. just yeah. walked in. Just arrived. Damien, we gave away your phone number to everybody yeah. that's watching. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you might. <laughs> you're getting you a might bunch receive of a few calls <laughs> about surfing. Oh man. Uh, we're Your making a app where, so for, since you just joined us, we're making a Betterment app where um, people pick something that they want to get better at and then they kind of goal track it and then they connect with a mentor, in which case this time it's you, Damien. You're, for surfing. You're the surfing mentor for poor Claude who yeah. doesn't Even feel like after, he's... Even after two years, after it's still two, really bad. <laughs> maybe after this you guys can... Do a little lesson, but yeah. <laughs> and so we gave away your phone number. <laughs> um, let's see. So a real quick feature um, that I can show off on my screen is um, paste appearance. So that's oh, yeah. a new one that just <clears throat> came out with the recent build, and I mentioned this yesterday. Um, but basically, you can go in and you can actually take an object that you want and um, right-click on it, and then from there be able to paste that to any other object, which is really, really nice. Um, so you want to show it on your um, screen? Yeah, I can show it on my screen real quick. Mm. So um, there we go. So right now what I was doing is we talked two seconds ago, Claude and I, about how I would basically make an activity feed and use a repeat grid here. Um, but in this object, I decided that what I wanted to do is um, copy the styles of his feed. So this is the original feed that he has right here. And I noticed there's some rounded corners and strokes and other styles so I'm just gonna go and click on this guy right here um, which you can also by the way oops, notice in the layer panel this is what I'm looking at and I'm gonna right click on it and copy it and when I go to this ordinary box right here I can actually paste the parents just like Illustrator and a couple other um, Adobe Suites and you get exactly the same styles you get even the photo added mm -hmm. in um, and you get the stroke and you get the rounded corner and everything. So nice. um, super convenient. And That's then, good. yep, and then now I can just kind of add a quick little feed of people who have done this. So nice. that's just kind of a little So your progress thing. feed, is it? Uh, it's going to be like photos. Do you right? want to be photo? Like, what yeah, do you think? You can post like a photo a day. I think it could be nice like to be like a mix between photos and like, no, and this, this might be your journal instead, right? Mm. We yeah. can do, so let's see. Or this, maybe it's people, mm -hmm. other people that are also doing surfing, what they're saying. Oh. So you can follow the progress of people. So a bunch of different surfers? Maybe, yeah. yeah. Let's go to here. Let's see what the heck is <laughs> over here real quick. Uh, and then go into, so you're saying a couple people who are doing cool things and surfing come here. Look at all these surfers. That's a cool shot. And then from here, that's cool. This one's nice too. So, okay. Joe, so the way we were running uh, the app on mobile uh, as a, a prototype, you just plug uh, with a Oop. USB cable, cable your iPhone, your iPad, and uh, Down you download the, the free app called Adobe XD on the App Store. You, you can. Uh, Look for it now, Great. and uh, one you just have to launch XD, go to uh, the prototype mode or preview. And as soon as you select an artboard, it will be uh, showcased, uh, displayed on your screen, and you can uh, add interaction. If I click here, then I want to mm -hmm. jump to this screen, and it will work live. Yep. 
and add a BXT. So something like this, Claude, right here? Like this, where it's like different yeah, people surfing? that's cool. Yeah. Something like that, yeah. Yeah? No? No? What? I don't know. <laughs> what, what, uh, sketch it. What do you, what do you think? No, uh, yeah. Well, no. Um, let's portray this more as a... Actually, if we switch to the GoPro yeah. very quickly. I was thinking about, like... Like Although I'm offline, the, the app still works, you know, and I'm not connected to XD anymore, so you can do a long tap oh, yeah, and say browse mm -hmm. no, like inside there the same thing, right? So if you want to show so them to your customer, you can still go right here and it will save the interaction. And then you would have like so once you are know, synced uh, app, then with app. XD, you know, you just have to preview it once like and uh, now it's saved, it's offline. Yeah, they can show like it at any photo. time. Uh, to your customer, okay, and then someone else so goes long tap, like today was and you just pay the money. Goes today okay. was great. Ah, Person, you know, like all right. it's more like all the people that did that are doing that same, okay. and maybe the this is not good, like the progress feed. Maybe it's like social feed, right? Yeah, yeah, like mm -hmm. that. So let's see. So social feed. So um, you see all the people that are doing the same betterment as you. Are posting their progress. Yeah. It's my, maybe you see their journal, you know. Uh, or your journal, not. or mm, uh, maybe not. I like no. social feed. Yeah. I like like uh, that kind of social aspect of it. So what I'll do right here is um, take this style, mm -hmm. which is this one, add it here, uh, and then actually change the color to the black that we mm -hmm. have, and then this will say. Um, uh, add. So match, yeah. you can drag and drop an image in a Bob, shape. Bob. Uh, you can use uh, also a shape as a mask for the image. Yeah, and if you double click, then you can resize I'm the gonna, image. I actually like seeing yeah. like, like little posted. feeds, like a couple pictures, right? Mm -hmm. So we'll do that. And then... And maybe he has like a message too. You know, he's saying something about... All right, cool. So almost like a tweet. Yeah. Um, let's see. So we had this thing. Mm -hmm. uh, <coughs> and he likes his emojis too. Mm -hmm. And so he'll have something right here. And he'll say... Damien, help me to. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> I'm struggling and. Uh, Damien's gonna get a lot of work. To yeah. get better. A lot of mentoring. Yep. And then uh, he'll just get a couple. Look at those emojis. So cool. You know, people just spam a million of those in the row. Yeah. Yep. Just, I'm really not the emoji test, so I'm just assuming that's what people do. And then I will add um, these photos here. And then that's what it looks like he did that. And then since this is um, a scroll, so you experience, could go ahead and like it, yeah. Oh yeah, I was gonna add some <coughs> hearts right here. I was thinking it'd be nice to add like a little like, oh, yeah. right? Oops, let's lock that real quick. Um, and then from here, I will go ahead and move this. Uh, Hyun Won Nam, thanks for joining and watching. Is XD can show animate effects on prototypes. So today you can just create transitions between the artboards, yeah. between the screens. Yeah. And for micro animation, if you need them, then uh, we would like you to discuss it with the team. So you can go on adbxd.userverse.com. This is where you can uh, vote for features. And there is uh, one feature which uh, actually is discussing uh, animations. Um, but between the screens, we have about uh, eight uh, different types of animations, yeah. transitions. So yeah, you can play with it. Like we just had someone sharing a prototype with a, a fake uh, carousel yeah. effect, and it, and actually it worked very well. Yeah. So so maybe I can show. Um, I'll show how to one of the neat feature that I think about uh, Adobe XD is to be able to record your prototype. Oh, so yeah. in the UX agency world, is it's it's pretty common that sometimes. Your client is your client is super busy, and you you don't get the chance to talk with them and having like a real presentation. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a neat feature that you can let's say you did some progress on some work. Let, for example, this app today, you click the play button top top right here, and then there's a little record feature mm -hmm. which is super neat. And then once you hit record, you see that it starts the recording. You see the time go up, and then you see that your cursor is now like 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 your finger or like a tab tappable uh, circle here. So it's recording, then you can say like pick a betterment. I wanna choose surfing. I see what's the surfing details, then I select the betterment. Now it tells me to pick a mentor. In that case, we have Damien Borba with his phone number too. <laughs> and uh, we send an invite to the, to the mentor and then we'll need to 
to wait until he comes back to us if he accepts to be my mentor or not then you can go access your different dashboard so for example it's still recording there and and then if i hit the stop button then the finder from mac will like prompt me to put a name in there and just save it on my desktop and it's going to save a nice i think mp4 file mm -hmm. that i can do different things with with it but basically i could click, click and drag and also just share with my client via slack or email yep. and they can like take a look and maybe i want to do a voiceover on top to explain my thoughts uh, about the, the the flow that i de i'm designing right now uh, another common thing that you could do for all the people that likes to showcase their work on websites like Behance, you can take that mp4 bring it in photoshop and con convert it to a gif yeah. maybe or straight up put a video on your Behance account too yeah. and also a nice feature that yeah. you showcased yesterday i don't know if you, you want to show it again but it's pretty good yeah so if you if you visit my Behance account so there is a way when you share a prototype so let's go to my profile if you look at the slideshow on Behance um, here is actually an interactive uh, XD prototype that you can directly embed. So here I'm using it for a slideshow, but it could be a, a mobile app. Yeah. And to do it, if you go back to cloud, uh, yeah. cloud screen, you click on share. Actually, I'm going to show the share feature at the same time, right? Oh, yeah, let's cool. do that. So, so share. top right here, you have that little share icon. In that case, it's going to be the Betterment app. And let's just put a nice little thumbnail in there. Mm -hmm. too um, so if I do this and I go to my screenshots and just there put it go. there and then we have our thumbnail awesome. here and then I can create the link here so if I hit create link it's gonna generate the prototype and put it online so that I can share it with the world and also um, a nice way to go grab that iframe code snippet that you can yeah, just you can, yeah either uh, create a link or you can embed yeah uh, and is uh, so embed, here, embed here. and you copy paste this code when you create a behance project and uh, your prototype will uh, just be displayed um, in your behance page so it's cool. a good way also to share and also you can select any artboard and export a png if you mm -hmm. want to share some yep. screens on behance and uh, get Easily feedback here. from the community or just uh, just I'll export put what you your and work on your portfolio yeah yeah. All right, I got you a new screen. You can stitch it in. Ah, cool. All right. So as you're drawing it, we just received a new, a new prototype from Philippe Leblanc. Oh. It's the Claude oh. Piché Fun. Okay. Ah, okay. Did you check it before just to make sure? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I checked it. I checked it. So. <laughs> okay. And okay. That, so that's the apps. Oh, that's the Montreal Canadiens. Yeah. yeah. Makes sense. Nice. Wow. Patrick Roy. Oh. oh. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> nice, nice. Okay, cool. so it's not really a shopping experience, but yeah, it's fun. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Thanks yeah. for sharing. <laughs> All right, so sent you that. Take okay. a look at the new screen. Um, oh, oh too back. Back. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> and there it is, right there, right there. Yep. So we can just add that one. Um, Right there, and so, because when yeah, Michael was doing it, he touched on, yep, so that experience will be, uh, mm -hmm. I just want to paste work, yeah. the text in so it's and consistent, change, yeah. Yep, yep. And and change it to black. Yep. Perfect, and then I can add the interaction here. Oh, wait, that one too, progress feed. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Okay. So now I can switch from this. Yeah. And then I'll do the paste. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So here, I want to go there. Yep. And also, uh, I and we can. We should do a pan, a push. I no, I think this all like it's gonna really? just switch. Just go between. Mm -hmm. All right. And then we can the copy the interaction to Yep. Mm, click on the. Uh, yeah, let's see. There yeah. it is. So again, this is nice too. Right. Um, uh, we have a few minutes left, so we need to choose someone yep. uh, oh, who will get perfect. a credit card subscription. Uh, maybe we can pick two because we had a lot of people sharing. Okay, okay. cool, nice. Um, so there is this one, which is not really eligible, but no. thanks for the joke. Thank, thanks for the joke, uh, yeah. We had the gelato one. 
we had uh, kids fashion mm -hmm. the buy something this is my Oop. yeah and your top two yeah top this three. is my top yeah we had oh, uh, the map uh, that one. Yep. we had the that one oh uh, yeah education which is not mm -hmm. really shopping Another we had the shop. uh, typefest yep. yep. we had thanks uh, a lot guys a lot. for all those prototypes amazing cool. yep we had uh, the one from your friend yeah yeah, that one's nice too. Uh, we had the professional one. Yep. Has to fix the. the oh, that one was actually skate nice. Yeah. Skate. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, we had the shopping the experience one, with. Uh, there was a nice. Uh, Interesting. Here, one. yeah. The That's cool. Yeah, yeah. this was good. With the blur too. Uh, mm -hmm. This was one of the oh, first, nice. yep. which is a things, nice yeah. checkout experience. Very That's professional. Cool. Yeah. Yep. Uh, we had and the, and the coffee one. Yep. Yeah, the coffee one. And XD Home, oh, yeah. which was about uh, home design. Nice. Yeah, oh, I love that yeah. layout. Yeah. layout. Yeah. And the other one, ice oh, cream. Yeah. Ice cream maker. And, and, and this one had now. the colors. Okay, so oh, yeah. maybe Claude, you can pick one, and Jessica, you can pick one. Uh, can you scroll back? Actually, go to the. Can you scroll to the home one real quick? I just want to see that one again. I forgot that one. This one? Yeah, so how does this one work? So this one, you have like three moods. Yeah. Okay. And then you have That's layouts. Mm. Yeah. So you can buy layouts. Yeah. It's like a, yeah. uh, like a look book for kind of here. Oh, wow. Okay, got it. I mean, I think the ice cream is pretty creative. I, I was going to go for the ice cream one. Cause okay. So yeah. this one. That this one, is pretty neat. It's a really great use of the uh, prototyping interactions mm -hmm. in a way that feels really um, close to the real thing. Yeah. So I, I, yeah. Okay. I think cool. That one's that one. So and guess yep. I will let you find who shared this one. This was at the beginning <laughs> of the show. <laughs> and then you liked one of them yeah, towards the, one the end, of the right? First, yeah. One of the first. Yeah. Not this one. <laughs> um, this no. Oh, this that one. one right? This oh, one. This super one. neat. Yeah. Oh, the yeah. panning here Love is really it. great with yeah, the slides. Yep. And changing the color back yeah, down. That's, yeah, that's, that's pretty very, sick. Yeah. So that's no, very nice number idea. two. Yep. Super okay. Nice. All right. Congratulations. Good job, Good job everyone. Yep. So, guys, I will let you find this one too, and you will receive a Crave Card uh, subscription. So, uh, we will contact you on Twitter or Behance uh, very soon. Cool. So, oh, get rid of that. Oh. And if you didn't win, keep sharing. You can uh, share it during the show with Damien. Maybe you will be picked by uh, Sally Harrison, who will be live with us Sorry, in about uh, eight minutes. And then right. publish it. Okay, so it's time to wrap up. Maybe time to wrap to it up. Let's yeah. publish it. To again. share it with the world. Yeah. So, All right. Uh, so again, top right here, you get the um, the share icon, and then you get the link here, so you can. Um, we want to share copy. again because we updated. Oh yeah. Right? So. You share again. It's going to remain and uh, keep the same link. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty useful. It's just going to up upload those images. Mm -hmm. And we invite you to give some feedback on it. Um, yeah. We're going to share it on Twitter, right? Yep. We, yeah, let's share Copy. it on Twitter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, adding the um, Adobe Live hashtag yep. so anyone can find it. Yep. Yeah, Perfect. It sounds good. Um, you can leave comments and uh, make sure to switch, all say. Squi switch screen because I don't want to see my emails. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just play, uh, like either our faces in full screen, Chris. Yeah. So, so yeah, yep. big. Uh, yeah. Perfect. Um, just to make it. Yeah. Michael. That's the project. Okay, thanks. Better man. And uh, yeah, let's all uh, say uh, thank you to uh, Jessica and Claude for this uh, awesome Thanks, guys. I, yeah. I want to thank Adobe us. again. Yeah. It's for super sharing awesome your to come process. here it's with really you guys. Awesome. These guys are all ridiculously talented and awesome. Yep. So yeah, thank yeah, you for thanks having Thanks for sharing us. your prototypes. And, yeah. It was so uh, good to see how you discovered and worked in XD and uh, what you did in three days. Thanks for sharing all these techniques mm -hmm. and uh, yep. and also uh, sharing a little bit about the, the life of uh, an agency with yep. telepathy. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, awesome. Hope to see you soon back yeah, on the yeah. WLA. Sure. Yeah. Always. Yeah. And um, stay tuned because we will be back live in about uh, five minutes with uh, Sally Harrison and uh, Debian Borba. Um, and uh, she's working on a app for hiking. You know, oh, you want nice. To nice. Hike. Super yep. cool. Nice, very cool. And uh, this is the final day, so we'll see the prototype coming alive. Um, thanks for watching, everyone, and uh, 
stay tuned. We'll be back live in about five minutes. Right. Bye. Thank Thanks, you. everyone. Bye. Bye.